With the company's debts over a billion pounds, things weren't looking good. I can imagine that as an investor, you're probably looking at the future of that business and thinking, well, there are regular customers. However, there is so much debt as a legacy of this business. Is this right for us to make the move? Really, these execs should have been awarded for turning around and creating a future business and a legacy for all of the 9,000 employees there, not for some short-term goal to make a shareholder happy. Big business is about big money, but only when you achieve big targets. So how did this company, founded by a Baptist missionary, fall so far from its prudent but pioneering foundations? We dream about it. We Despite its reported problems with mass acquisitions and near collapse in 2011, the company has relied on its reputation and personalised service, as seen in this aspirational ad from 2010. Thomas Cook had an international business, very much based on the strength of the brand. I think it was very much seen as a rock-solid British export, something that people could rely on and trust and have faith in. This was about a radical overhaul of a travel industry where the consumer had developed in the digital age so much power, so much authority, that they could book their own travel anywhere they want fingertips on their phone, the information was there, the expertise was there. So Thomas Cook had to justify its existence, and to me it never did. So it breaks your heart to think that this business couldn't actually use its own values, its own creation, its own in innovation to get through this digital age. It could have happened. It needed investment. It needed passion. It needed customers that didn't just want to trade with it because of a price. They wanted to trade with it because they wanted a Thomas Cook holiday. And unfortunately, that went away a long time ago. And the British weather also played a part. Last year's heat wave caused holidaymakers to delay their booking decisions. Thomas Cook was hit hard, with earnings down by 88 million pounds. If you have great summers in the UK, people might decide to have staycations rather than actually going to visit a destination for the sunshine fix they need. 